Hello, I'm Dr. Tara Palmatier of shrinkformen.com. If you'd like to ask me a question or schedule a session with me, you can reach me at shrinkformen at gmail.com. The topic of this video is Narcissist Fight Club Rules 1 and 2. Don't tell the narcissist they're a narcissist. And yes, this is a, a spoof on the film Fight Club. Many people in relationships with narcissists, psychopaths, borderlines, histrionics, and other personality disordered abusers often find themselves living by a set of rules, spoken and unspoken, determined by their abuser. Narcissists don't force their victims to live by these rules. Adult victims usually comply, hoping to preserve the relationship for a variety of typically misguided, unhealthy reasons stemming from fear, obligation, and guilt, otherwise known as fog. For example, you fear losing access to your children. You don't believe anyone else will be attracted to you. You're replaying family of origin issues in which the people who claim to love you abuse you. Or you feel obligated to stay with your abuser and guilty about leaving. Healthy relationships also have rules. However, they're out in the open, reasonable, and in the interest of and agreed to by both parties. Dysfunctional relationship rules share none of these attributes. Abusers like to win. In order for the narcissist to feel that they're winning, someone else has to lose. They'll scheme and bully to ensure they're always the winner or appear to be the winner, even if they eventually lose the relationship. Leaving the relationship doesn't necessarily automatically free you. If you're married and share children, narcissists and borderlines will often devise destructive, one-sided rules for divorce and custody agreements. They'll do their darndest to continue their tyranny post-divorce if enabled by the court. Even when the courts don't enable the narcissist or borderline ex, it's up to you to create and enforce boundaries if you no longer want to live by their rules. So you know, these rules are subject to change at any time. They are at the whim and self-interest of the narcissist. Narcissists and other abusers usually don't hold themselves to the same rules and standards of behavior that they hold others. In this respect, they live on a one-way street paved with double standards. The rules favor the narcissist or borderline who create endless no-win situations and conflicts for their partners and family members. The rules aren't fair. The rules dictate that you deserve whatever abuses or punishment the narcissist or borderline meets out. The rules absolve the narcissist of accountability and culpability. There's one rule that rarely changes. The narcissist is never wrong. Or, in the unlikely event the narcissist is wrong, you made her or him behave badly, still not their fault. These rules typically don't surface or become manifest until after the narcissist, psychopath, histrionic, or borderline has secured the relationship after the love bombing and idealization stage has ended. Did I mention these rules ensure that you can never ever win? It, it needs repeating. The only win to be had is in ending the relationship and getting your life your sanity, your health, and yourself back. Many abuse victims aren't aware of the rules at first. Because they're often covert, you discover them as you stumble upon the narcissist's tripwires. Many of you, in an effort to understand what you're experiencing, turn to internet search engines that lead you to sites like Shrink for Men. Finally, things start to make sense. Then you consider sharing this information with your abuser. Just, just don't do it, please. Just don't, 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 don't. Do not do that. Have you not been paying attention in your relationship up to this point? You know the rules by now, don't you? Do you think this information is going to change anything for the better? Really? Let's start with the basics then. Whether you decide to remain in the relationship or end it, the first and most important rule of Narcissist Fight Club, and again, an homage to the Brad Pitt, Edward Norton film, is 
Don't tell the narcissist they're a narcissist. The second rule of Narcissist Fight Club is don't tell the narcissist they're a narcissist. Don't tell a borderline they're a borderline or a psychopath they're a psychopath. This is one of the most common rookie mistakes when a victim discovers articles, blogs, and YouTube videos about personality disorders. There are several reasons people make this tactical blunder. One common reason is wishful thinking. If my spouse is diagnosed, they'll finally get help and become a totally different person. Okay, what many victims really want is for their abuser to love bomb them again. That isn't about your partner getting better, it's about returning to fantasy land. The person who love bombed you never really existed. You fell in love with a fantasy. It's painful to admit, but that's the reality of it. Identifying them as personality disordered isn't going to help you finally win an argument or get them to concede. If you really understand the information you've read about personality disorders, you know why this is extremely unlikely. Using your newfound knowledge as a weapon, you borderline blankety blank, you narcissistic blankety blank, is also a bad idea. While weaponizing this information after you've been abused so very badly may be tempting and even understandable, don't do that either. How does it resolve anything? It doesn't. It just further entrenches you in the muck with the narcissist. It also typically reinforces their professional victim narrative. In other words, they'll turn it around on you and play the victim. It also gives them the reason, as if they need a legitimate one, to launch into another abuse cycle. Even if you've convinced yourself you can help by sharing this information, it will likely be projected back onto you. You'll be accused of being the narcissist, borderline, etc. Do you really think the narcissist is going to say, oh my God, you're right, I'm a blame-shifting, entitled, emotionally immature, psychologically stunted, unempathic cretin. That's the root of all our relationship troubles. I'll get help now and we can go back to love bombing land post haste. <laughs> Look, that's just not gonna happen. Also, once the narcissist knows you have their number, they'll begin working toward destroying you in earnest. Why? Because you know too much and they will protect their false self at all costs. They'll smear and discredit you, that is if they aren't already, rather than risk you exposing them. Furthermore, the narcissist or borderline's level of rage is proportionate to the degree of accuracy of your observations about them and their behavior. Let me repeat that. The narcissist or borderline's level of rage is proportionate to the degree of accuracy of your observations about them and their behavior. The more right you are, the more enraged and destructive they're likely to become. The truth is their enemy. There was a Facebook discussion on this article uh, when I published it uh, in early 2018. Um, Erica H, that's her public Facebook uh, profile name, summed it up very well. She wrote, the language of therapy and abuse is a truly effective weapon if you hand it to them. Use it to learn about yourself and identify the people in relationships that aren't good for you, and then get the heck out of the way. The shark is not going to quit gnawing your arm off simply because you have the handbook of sharks and you give it a nice education on what kind of shark you think it is and what its preferred prey and hunting habits may be. If you believe your abuser is personality disordered, keep that to yourself and get help either to understand why you're allowing yourself to be abused and or support to end the relationship as safely as possible. Don't print articles and leave them lying around the house where the borderline will find them. Don't engage in circular arguments with the narcissist about who's the real narcissist. Like seriously, I mean, that's like a demented version of who's on first with Abbott and Costello. Just please don't, don't, don't do that. It, it's just as crazy or crazier. Hopefully it's just a case of temporary insanity for you. The path to well being is in the opposite direction of the narcissist in the rules that serve and protect their dysfunction and pathology. 
I will uh, be making additional videos on uh, the other Narcissist Fight Club rules over the next several weeks, so please check back. Again, I'm Dr. Tara Palmatier of shrinkformen.com. If you have questions or would like to schedule an appointment with me, my email is shrinkformen at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful.